Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to number three in my series of small journals. Medium-sized journals? Yeah. This one, um, measuring in inches, is approximately eight and a half by six. It was a magazine, and I've made two single signature journals out of the one magazine. I've closed this with double ribbon because I like the look of it and I've put a, an eyelet through here and one through the back page with my cropper dial and they just fit there very very nicely. Now the magazine was a magazine of this size and I didn't want to use the whole thing as a big book. I wanted to use it as a small book so once I got through putting paper on both sides. This is actually the front cover of the magazine that I put two sheets of paper that went this way. And then I thought, what are you doing Ruth? You want these to be small, so you want your pages to be orientated with all the stuff that's pretty down the bottom. Some of the made pages I did write, this one I couldn't change because it was just impossible. So you've got teacups going sideways and cakes and forks and spoons, but that's okay. Let me turn it round so that you get to see it. Every There's not much there's only paper decorations in this one and the one to follow, but um, it leaves me scope now to address the issue and decorate and write. Every alternate page has tea dyed paper, and every other page is pretty paper from either Daphne's diary or scrapbooking paper that I've had in my stash for years. So, all this lovely, beautiful tea dyed paper, and I've chosen the most pretty sides to face up. I'm just going to flip through these with not a lot of chatter. Doesn't that sound beautiful? Love it. This is another sheet that I couldn't put the, ro the way I needed it to because the lovely big banner was sort of straight across the 12 by 12 and I didn't think. I haven't even adorned my centres yet. Beautiful copies. This is still very raw in its in its look. come to the reverse side of those lovely patterns. And because this is such a short flip through, I'm going to show you the next one as well. So that's the one with the, the butterfly on the front of it. And the next one has some weaving on the front. <coughs> when I was cutting the papers to, sit, to fit, I had all these different size strips to use. And I thought, what on earth can I do with those? I don't want to waste them. So I turned them into a woven patch. Then I put some stickers on the front with leaves. And then I glued the button closure. I sewed the button onto the patch. And then I glued that onto there. And then glued this onto the front page of the journal. I've got really long ribbons, but that's okay. Because they will wrap around once and a half each. And we'll have some pretty stuff. You saw it. I'll try and put it back together again. Once again, this is just papers and coffee dyed or tea dyed paper, tea dyed papers on here, and just scrapbooking papers or magazine pages. I really like this page. I actually had two of them and I was ever so grateful because the first one I cut had the tree stumps coming down here and going up that way and I didn't like it much. Some of the folds are pretty rough because they were fine when the page was flat but once I folded it over it um, became a little bit rough. And I've, I, make, I messed up. 
I messed up. I saw this empty page and it just had the, the magazine stuff on it and I thought, ah, I need to cover that. And I grabbed a piece of pretty paper and forgot that it already had pretty paper on one side. So this one's got a double whammy, but it's right in the middle and it's fireworks and it's so gorgeous. So I didn't really mind. Don't you love it when the staining medium pools and leaves a big puddle? I think that's where we put a little stone to hold it down and the, and the, the tea just gravitated towards it. It was lovely. I enjoyed that little flip through. Love it. Okay, so we wrap once around that way. Once around that way. Tighten it just a little bit. And then we can tie a bow on the top of the button. Now, I'm going to get clever here because I cannot hold the half knot down and fold the bow at the same time. My fingers are not agile enough to do that anymore, so reverse tweezers work really, really well. Now my, that's my third hand. Because manual dexterity and I are not friends anymore. release the tweezer, put it away, and there's my little journal with its bow. Thank you so very, very much, lovelies, for coming to see these journals. I've just abbreviated, by showing you two in one, I've abbreviated the series by one, so... <laughs> not to worry, not to worry. There will be plenty more to show you. If I can get my fingers to do this bow, I'll be really happy without the tweezers. It's a bit difficult trying to get tweezers to hold onto the side of it. Oh, I did it almost. Yeah, I did it. Woohoo! Yay me! <laughs> Alright, there are those two, my darlings. I will catch up with you in the next video. Thank you for coming to see me, and I love your comments. Please leave lots. Thank you. Bye-bye for now.